so hi everyone welcome to my youtube channel in this video i am going to explain you about the experiment on determining the young's modulus of a material of given beam so here we need to find the young's modulus by bending of the beam so you can see the apparatus required for this experiment two knife edges where we have to keep the metallic beam and to measure the length of the beam metal beam we need the meter scale and here is the spherometer which has two scale one is pitch scale and another one is rotating scale or the head scale and slotted weights so here is the weight hanger we have to put the weights and vernier caliper is used to measure the breadth of the beam and thickness of the beam is measured with the help of screw gauge so these are the apparatus we required to perform this experiment so to know whether the screw has touched to the beam or not in some experiments they may include the galvanometer so that we can observe the deflection in the galvanometer uh, when the screw touches to this uh, beam so we are just finding out here young's modulus so we are not including uh, the galvanometer so we can also find out young's modulus once uh, we find out the reading from spherometer and so here is the formula to calculate young's modulus of a given beam material y is equal to mg l cube divided by 4 b d cube delta so we can also write it as that is equal to g l cube divided by 4 b d cube into m capital m divided by delta so capital m is the load suspended on this beam and g is the acceleration due to gravity l is the length of this beam material and b is the breadth of this beam and d is the thickness of this material beam and delta is the dispersion when we ap apply the load or when we unload so dispersion we can calculate here with the help of tabular column so this is the tabular column so we have to apply the load or the mass in terms of grams 0 50 100 up to 250 g so six reading you can take spherometer reading we have to note down here for loading increasing as well as for decreasing the load so first you have to take for load for load increasing and then for load decreasing so mean we have to calculate once we calculate the mean we can calculate dispersion so let us uh, first know how to load or unload the beam spherometer reading we have to note down here for loading and unloading first we should know the least count of this spherometer so here uh, you can see the two scales pitch scale and this is the head scale or the circular rotating scale uh, so here the pitch scale consists of 10 division above and below so the one pitch is, uh, is how much uh, value of 1 so least count is given by the formula so least count for the spherometer is given by 1 pitch divided by number of divisions on head scale that is equal to 1 pitch divided by 100 so 1 uh, pitch that is equal to 1 mm we can say here that means in terms of centimeter it is 0.1 0.1 divided by 100 0.001 cm least count of this spherometer so here you can see the total number of divisions on the vernier scale all we call here head scale or rotating scale 
so 100 and uh, the one division is in terms of millimeter that is or in terms of centimeter 0.1 uh, so 0.1 divided by 100 how much 0 0.001 is the least count here I have applied the 50 gram weight and here you can see the the screw of the spherometer is touching to the beam here you should note down the MSR and CVD that is pitch scale reading uh, MSR and this is rotating scale uh, CVD uh, so here this is almost around 9 or 8 uh, this vernier scale is touching to this main scale or the pitch scale around 9 so 9 you can write down uh, and then uh, the rotating scale reading or circular scale reading here it is touching to almost about 78 ok 78 uh, this is the line here 78 so here you can calculate total reading for the 50 gram loading MSR plus CVD into least count that is 9 nothing but in terms of millimeter 9 mm 78 into 0 0.001 0 0.9 plus 0 0.078 uh, so 0.978 centimeter we will get for loading so like that you should keep on increasing the weight so here I am going to add another 50 gram so you can see the material beam is bending so then we have to again adjust this spherometer it must touch to the beam so you can see it has touched to this beam then we should again note down the pitch scale reading and head scale reading or MSR and CVD then substitute uh, in the total reading formula calculate for 100 gram how much uh, reading you got uh, that is uh, spherometer reading for loading you should note down in the tabular column I am going to add 50 gram so this is for 150 gram so this is the standard weight we are taking uh, to calculate the dispersion and also for the Young's modulus calculation so 150 gram you can see the beam has pended uh, so you have to adjust again this spherometer here it must touch to this metal beam so once it touches again you should note down the MSR and CVD main scale reading and head scale reading so like that you should increase the load and then for unloading also repeat the same procedure so I have applied overall 250 gram you can see there is a gap in the spherometer so I have applied all the weight here 250 gram you can see there is a gap uh, between this screw uh, of the spherometer and the beam so again you need to adjust uh, rotate this scale uh, and uh, adjust uh, so that the screw touches the beam and measure the MSR and CVD uh, so here we have loaded all the weight so we have to unload here so you in the decreasing order 50 gram you should remove and again you need to adjust this spherometer level and then you can note down the reading uh, for all the weights in the decreasing order to measure the thickness of this beam using screw gauge the breadth of the beam using vernier caliper the length of the beam using meter scale it is almost 1 meter 100 centimeter so write down here uh, the values of the spherometer reading by calculating total reading for increasing or loading and similarly unloading you must get the same 
value of spherometer reading so take the mean here and calculate the dispersion here to calculate dispersion that is denoted by delta you should subtract the first reading mean value of first reading in all other readings so a minus a b minus a up to f minus a then we have taken here the standard weight that is 150 gram uh, so dispersion for that how you have observed you should note down here so delta 4 is what here for 150 gram dispersion delta 4 minus delta 1 you have to take here and delta 5 minus delta 2 after uh, the 150 gram delta 5 minus delta 2 and delta 6 minus delta 3 you have to take the difference of these dispersion values and mean you have to calculate once you calculate the difference between them take the mean and uh, put those values in this formula young's modulus formula m is what uh, the mass for dispersion 150 g g acceleration due to gravity 9.8 meter per second l length of the uh, beam material beam so b breadth d thickness and calculate the young's modulus so you can write the young's modulus how much you got after doing experiment in terms of newton per meter square